Hi everybody, Rita here. Today I'm going to be doing my May book haul. I am so excited for this batch of books. I have a lot of ARCs and then I also have a graphic novel which I am super stoked about so I will just get into it. The very first book that I bought this month was a graphic novel and it is The Legend of Wonder Woman Volume 1 The Origins which I'm super excited. And this is by Renee Deliz and Ray Dillon. This book was actually recommended by a graphic novel book nerd that I know that comes into my store all the time who used to work with me and he, I literally told him every time he comes in he needs to recommend a new graphic novel for me and I told him that I really like Wonder Woman and he wanted to get into it and so he told me to start off with this one. This graphic novel is gorgeous and it actually has a lot of the original origins to Wonder Woman where some of the revampings I've heard change kind of her origins. This goes back to the original and basically I'm not going to explain it because just reading the back of it made me think exactly what the movie is going to be about so I am not going to get into it too much because it literally looks like the movie. I'm so excited for the movie. I don't know if you guys are Wonder Woman fans too but first woman superhero movie and I am stoked. But I'm going to watch the movie first so I have an open mind and then I'm going to read this graphic novel and I'm so excited. I can't wait. The next book I got is Eliza and Her Monsters and this is by Francesca Zappia. I think, I hope I'm saying that right. This is actually the book that I got from the Owl Crate, for the mini Owl Crate this month. And I am really, really excited for this one. It looks absolutely amazing. It is about a girl named Eliza who is a very shy person who doesn't typically like to socialize in real life. But she is a pretty big person online. She is the creator of a webcomic that is very popular. And when she meets a boy that is a very popular fan fiction writer about her webcomic, they end up hitting it off, but her secret is starting to come out that she is the creator of the webcomic and it could tear their relationship apart. I cannot wait to read this. I don't know if you've seen any of the images that are in this book, but there are some webcomic stuff, some fan fiction, fan art. Oh, I can't wait to read it. It sounds so me. And I really, really enjoy fan fiction type of stuff. And with illustrations, if you guys have watched my channel, you know that I love me illustrations and pictures. And there are pictures throughout this book, so I cannot wait to get digging into this one. This cover actually is an original Owl Crate cover. So I didn't know what it was before, but the actual image of them together is different in this one versus all the other ones that you can find. Their um, pictures are swapped, and then she's holding his face instead of him holding her hands. I thought that was really cool. It's a very subtle change, and I really, really like the cover. It's very beautiful, very colorful, but also really intriguing with the art that is drawn on here. The next book I have is The Explorers, Door in the Alley, and this is by Adrian Kress. I actually did a review on this already, and I will link it down below. It is actually a really short review, so if you want to check it out, it is great book. If you like middle grade, this is a very fun adventurous book and look at the cover. It's just so pretty. Then I have Ruined by Amy Tintera. I mentioned this, I think it was in my rapid fire book tag about books that are underrated and seriously guys, this book is epic and fantastic. I love Amy Tintera. I haven't read any of her other books. I know she has other series going on, but this book is fan freaking tastic. So it's about a girl who is in this kingdom and this kingdom has powers and she's a princess next in line for the throne but she actually has no powers. Her younger sister has powers so her people don't want her as queen, they want her sister as queen but her sister gets kidnapped and her family gets killed by neighboring kingdoms and they're basically trying to wipe out her people because they are worried that the people in her kingdom will be able to use their magic against them. Seriously, this book is nuts. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. There is literally the first chapter. I will link it down below from the Goodreads page that I found it on. Just read the first chapter. It is so exciting, so adventurous. People are dying, things are happening. It's just thrust in your face and it doesn't stop from there. This is an amazing book to be able to get out of a reading slump. And the ending, oh my gosh. If you have read it, you know what I'm talking about. This ending, nuts. I love this book. If you've read it, leave me down a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it, whether you liked it or didn't like it. <sighs> I honestly love this series and I have to get Avenge. Avenge is already out and I super need to get it, but I don't have 
money. There's so many things that came out this month and I just I couldn't buy them all. I just couldn't. The last book that I bought is The Iron Trial by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. If you don't know, Cassandra Clare is the author of the City of Bones series and Immortal Instruments and Holly Black is the author of the Spiderwick Chronicles. And I love the Spiderwick Chronicles. So I literally picked this up because of them and also because just this is so pretty. So I read this a while ago from a friend and I never actually purchased it and I love the series so much that I just decided that I'm going to just purchase the series and I'm very very happy that I did. This book is really good. It kind of reminds me of Harry Potter but with like a mage sort of vibe. So it is about a boy who ends up trying to fail this trial to get kids into a prestigious magic school and he grew up knowing that magic is bad, magic is evil, so he wanted to fail, ends up accidentally passing. He goes into the school with these two other people and basically it's about him learning magic, learning what's really going on in the magic world, how his mother died, but also who this evil villain is. Seriously, the ending of this, it literally blew my mind. It had such a twist at the end, and then the story just keeps giving you all these crazy twists and turns. It gets pretty dark in the second one. I might actually just do a book review on this one because it is just that good, and I need to get the rest of the series. The fourth one is coming out in September, so I will hopefully get my hands on that one as well. There's only actually supposed to be five books in the series, one for each year at the school, just kind of like how Harry Potter was, and I just cannot wait to finish this series. I love this series so much. <sighs> the last three books that I have are actually advanced reader copies that I got from work. I'm really interested in reading these and the first one that I have to show you is The Black Witch and this is by Lori Forrest. This has had so much controversy around it for racism. I'm actually really intrigued to read it just to kind of see for myself what's going on. This story follows a girl who is the spinning image of her grandmother and her grandmother was this really powerful black witch that conquered this evil back in the day. People believe that she is now prophesied to be the last black witch. When this rising evil starts happening again, they think she is going to be their savior, but she has no magic, and so she is trying to follow her own path and become an apothecary, just like her brothers, but she quickly finds out that the school that she is going to is not safe for her, and things start to happen. I've heard from several other booktubers and other people that I've talked to about this that the racism issue was not resolved, so I'm kind of curious to see what happens with that. It is a really thick book, so I don't know when I'm going to get to it. And I know it's already out, and so I don't have any kind of rush to read it. So I might just save it for another time, but I am still really interested in trying to get my own opinion on this book. And then I have Ramona Blue, and this is by Julie Murphy. I am really excited for this one. This is supposed to be kind of like a teen romance contemporary style book. This book follows a girl whose life was changed after Hurricane Katrina hit when she was five years old. Now that she's grown up, she's basically the only adult in the family. She's working multiple jobs to try and provide for her family, and she's very stressed out. So when a childhood friend comes back, he convinces her to start swimming, and he is a very competitive swimmer himself. So when she starts to get into it, her feelings start to change, and things start to happen. And I'm kind of confused about this. When I was reading the back, it said that she's one of two lesbians in her small Mississippi town that has come out. But then it starts talking about her feelings towards her friend, which is clearly a boy, um, has changed. And I don't know, it makes me feel like she's something's happening. I don't know, I, I need to read it. This one sounds really interesting for contemporary. I'm not huge contemporary fan, but I'm starting to get into it, and this kind of sounds up my alley. The last book I have is the third installment of the Serafina series, and this is Serafina and the Splintered Heart by Robert Beatty. This book actually comes out on the 17th of June. I haven't actually read the series. I own them all. I just haven't gotten to them yet, so I definitely need to get on that so I can complete it. I've heard amazing things about this series. It is a fabulous fantasy middle grade and I just I need to get on this. So that is everything. I think it's about eight books, and I am really excited to get started on those. 
I will post a video for my June themed TBR soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you soon with another one. Bye!